Today I'm going to go over how to change the tires on a Jazzy Select power chair. I'm going to go over all three tires, the tip wheels, the main drive tires, and the rear caster tires. Uh, the tools you're going to need um, for the casters and then the tip tires, you're going to need a 13 millimeter wrench and I've got a 13 millimeter socket. You can use a second 13 millimeter wrench, uh, whatever works for you. Um, for the main drive tires, I've got a three quarters socket uh, for that main bolt in there. Um, and then I've got some, you're going to need something to lift the chair up on. I've got a little, uh, little like hand jack here. Uh, you can set it on like a piece of wood or <clears throat> some, something along those lines, like a, a block, whatever, uh, whatever will keep the chair up out of your way. And then I've got a screwdriver might help with the casters. Uh, it's not necessary, but it might help. So we're going to start up front and then work our way back. I'm going to start with these tip wheels. Uh, if you need to change the tip wheels, let's say you got kind of eaten up or something and you want to put a new one on, uh, you're going to use one 13 millimeter wrench on this side to hold the bolt still. Then I've got a socket on this side and we're just going to take this bolt out. If I can stay on it, there we go. So you see you've got a lock nut here. We've got a washer on one side of the tip wheel. Then the actual tip wheel slides out. A second washer. And then on the other side of the bolt is the third washer. You shouldn't have to remove that. And then when you put your new tip wheel on, yeah, just make sure your washers are lined up. Uh, sometimes this bearing pops out. It shouldn't this time. Yep, you pop it on, put the washer in, new bolt. And then you just tighten it again. You don't want to make it too tight because you do want it to roll when it hits the ground. Like that looks pretty good. But you don't want it too loose to where it wiggles or makes noise either. So now we're going to focus on the main drive tire. This is where your three quarters socket set is going to come in handy. We're going to loosen this bolt. It might be a little tight. You might have to break it a little bit. Uh, this one wasn't too bad. There we go. We have our main lock nut here. And then there is also a washer behind it, which should come off when we pull the tire off. You might have to wiggle it a little bit. There we go. Kind of, there's our washer. And then I have this propped up right now. Like I said, you can use a, a like a cardboard box or like a block or anything. Uh, I've got a little hand jack here, but you want to prop it up somehow. Then it should just slide off. When you go to put the new tire on, make sure this little pin is still in there. Then you're just going to line it up and then try and slide it on. I can see that pin is in there. We're going to put our washer back on, then our lock nut. Then we will just tighten it again with our wrench. We don't want it too tight, but we do want it firm and secure. There we go. And then now we can start working on the caster type. So now we're going to work on the rear casters. Um, the rear casters, again, we're going to be using our 13 millimeter. Um, a half inch also might work on <clears throat> these rear ones, uh, but I'm going to use a 13. They're pretty close to the same size. Um, so one wrench on one side to hold the boat, then one on the lock nut on the other side. And it could be a little tight or a lot of tight. There it goes. And I do have these wheels propped up so they're not resting on the ground. There we go. And then we have a uh, lock nut, a washer. And then I'm going to kind of tap this out a little bit. As I pull this out, our wheel will fall out. When we put our new tire on, we're going to start the bolt on this side, line it up with one of the sides of the new caster tire. And then there is a bearing inside the caster tire that kind of sits loose. So the reason I mentioned the screwdriver earlier is you can stick that in one side and kind of manipulate that a little bit until the bolt will actually start to feed through just like that. And it should pop out the other side. Then we just put our washer on, 
our lock nut, and then our two 13 millimeter wrenches. We're going to just tighten this back up again. And we want it tight, but not too tight. You still want the caster wheel to freely roll. That looks pretty good. About the same as the other side. So we should be good to go. And that is how you change all the tires on a Jazzy Select power chair. Hi, I'm Mark. And my name is Alex. We're co-owners of Mark's Mobility. I started this company in 1995. We sell many products, not just what you see in this video. If you have any questions or concerns, please call us at the number below at 800 677-6293. Thank you and have a wonderful day.